contact with the native in the old sawmill. We wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I gotta help her. So far. Doing a sweep. <laughs> Disturbance in the sawmill. I'm with what? Jacob. He told what? us to wait for you, but these bastards found us first. Oh, side quests. Oh Are you alright? I'll live. But I need a safe place to rest in case the invaders return. There's a cave across the bridge over there. A wolf den. They won't look there. But I can't clear it out on my own. Not like this. If you could kill them, we'll have a safe place to regroup. I might even have something for that pistol of yours. Can you help? Me? Sure, I'll accept yes, the damn mission. Stay out of sight. I'll be back. Thank you. Jacob was right about you. You be quiet, okay? So I'm not gonna do all the all the the optional content in here. Just by the way, uh, before you guys jump to any conclusions about it, I'll do some, but I'm not gonna 100% the game. That's for sure, because I want to actually finish it within the next two days. I've infiltrated the ranks of the enemy and learned that they come seeking the rich resources of the mountain. They appear to know nothing of the secret we protect. Those who build the Iron Road are themselves prisoners, slaves of the Red Army. Massive machines now use the Iron Road, bringing more slaves, Road. food, and raw materials for construction of a small city. <clears throat> it is time for me to return to my people so we might plan our attack. If we can inflict heavy losses upon them before they reach the mountain, they may give up and turn back. I've infiltrated the Oh, God, don't start it again. Spend too much time in PUB to get side on side quests. Okay. Yeah, man. Dude, side quests in this game, they're going to be rewarding compared to trying to find a damn site in PUBG. Did you clear out the cave? No, God, I was in that room over there. Jeez. No, not this guy then. thinks I'm super talented. Not let the target slip away. Why is the gun so quiet? What the hell? Where's the volume? If there's someone in here, it's safe. You can come out now. Is it Lady Girl with a bow? Okay, I'm good to go. I'm, I'm I just played I just played Poobles, okay? And now the the shooting in this game feels completely different. Nothing. Definitely big enough to hide in. What the hell's that? What what is that? Don't tell me that's the person. In here. The last one? There's another one? Oh, down there. Oh, this is Baba Yaga. Am I right? Hold on. I don't want to do Baba Yaga. Stop. No closer. I'm not with Trinity. My name is Lara, and your gun isn't loaded. I can see <laughs> the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You hurt. <laughs> I just need to sit down for a moment. Laura, was it? I'm Nadia. I could use your help. What? What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. <clears throat> I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. Shoot her! Shoot her! I'm not gonna shoot her, guys. It's not gonna happen. The path to the Vale is through the cave to the east of here. You know, I'm not sure I want to do the Baba Yaga quest. 
That's the DLC quest. I haven't even done the original game yet. God, slow your roll. Slow your roll. Where's this damn cave? Let's let's start with the damn cave. Okay. Is this the wolf cave? Oh, this is the Baba Yaga cave. No side quests? Well, I'm going to do some side quests. Like, I want to do the damn cave for the, with the wolves or whatever. Where's that? That's just killing some damn wolves. I can kill some wolves. I'm down. What does a side quest look like? What, what does a side quest look like? Baba Yaga, you know, the, uh, the Russian boogeyman. I'm going to finish the game, so I'm not going to get sidetracked by side quests. Uh. I just want to, is this the cave? Let's just look. Exotic animal nearby? Where? Don't come and lie to me, game. There are no animals nearby. No, I'm gonna finish- um, Guys, I'm gonna finish the game, okay? I will finish this game. Don't you worry. I thought when I press Q like this, I'm supposed to see the side quests on the You know, screw the side quests. Due to this stupid wolf cave. If you could show me where the wolf cave is on my map, that would be a that would be great. That would be great. But apparently he didn't do that. So I don't know if he even deserves my help. To be perfectly honest with you. Whoa, Baba Yaga is the basis for the three hag sisters in The Witcher 3, you believe? Whoa, is that true? I mean, those three were pretty damn scary. They were pretty damn... Okay. This is a loser stream. Can't even hit a damn bird out of the sky. Soldiers, something awful happened here. Or something wonderful. Because they're all dead. Climb the copper mill to reach the mine entrance. Okay. That's a good fight on hardest settings. What? Which one? Oh, 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 the, the witch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the, the hags. Yeah, absolutely. I think about dad every day. For years, I with him for losing himself in his work for chasing what I thought were fairy tales I had no idea I keep telling myself that I was young that I couldn't understand but I still lost him and now for some reason I feel more connected to him than I ever did when he was alive he never got this far but I know he's with me the divine source is here, and I'm going to find it. He knew that it could change the way we understand a human soul. That it could change the world. But he's gone now. And I'm the only one left who knows he was right. I hear you, girl. I hear you. Can't upgrade this yet. Missing crafting tools. You know what? I'm good. I'm good. Is Witcher finished? What? No! <laughs> what? No, no. Of course not. Uh, if, if someone were to tell me where the damn wolf cave was, I would have done that right now. But in this specific situation, I'm like, nah. You know? Because no one's showing me where it is. Propaganda. Work hard to fight cold and hunger. It's not the one. 
She's really strong. This Lara Croft girl. Lara, uh. are you okay? Yes, I'm at the base of the old Soviet mill. I'm making my way to the mine entrance at the top of the facility. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Mabru, say no more. I shall see you there. Wolf Cave is north of Novigrad. Oh god, you know, why didn't I think of that? Okay. I'll just board my spaceship and head to Novigrad right now. This one looks like a game. These pieces look familiar. I know I've seen something like this before. Are we are we basically confirming that Lara Croft is um is Siri? Part of the law. Uh, dimensional traveling and all that. Lara doesn't have a spaceship city. Well, you are inferring that Novigrad is just around the corner, so I would say literally anything's possible. Comrades, this report comes to you following an unprecedented discovery in the mountains of Freedom Station. Our deep mine crew has broken into a massive cavern filled with incredible ruins and artifacts, the likes of which have never been found in the motherland. Huh. The workers that we acquired from the native population have become agitated following the discovery. They clearly know something about these ruins. We will begin working the prisoners around the clock, for I believe we are on the verge of an even more amazing discovery. Damn, I'm keen for this mine. Siri is better than Lara, no comparison. I mean... I mean, if it was still old Lara... I want to say if it was still old Lara, I'm talking Tomb Raider 1 Lara, uh, then it would have been a... it would have been a close one. It would have been a close one. I'm not sure about this rebooted Lara. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm a big fan. Of the old Tomb Raiders. But I'm a big fan of Siri too. I'm definitely a big fan of Siri. Lara better body so she went how do you know that though? I feel like I feel like Lara flaunts what she's got, but Siri is just sort of like not doing that. Here we gotta go up. We've got to go up. Can I make this? I can make this jump for sure. Well now. Interesting. Have we? This is where we've been. Yeah, we've absolutely been here. Up there? Sure thing. Here. I got it. I got it. <clears throat> Don't worry. Don't worry. You love Triss. Because when you were young, everyone used to lie and say, I know cheat code to see Laura naked. Yeah, and when you saw her naked, man. I'm guessing that was one big pixel. There's actually a mod to see Siri naked? Of course there is, man. Of course there is. But like, to see Laura naked in the old Tomb Raider games, what would be the point? Come on, come on, come on. Let's let's just think about that for a moment. Can you remember what those models looked like? I, I feel like the answer is no. Probably not. <laughs> well, there you go. That's pretty much how she looked naked. Well done. Oh. Like they were animals. Another one to listen to. Let's go. I don't think Anna shares our faith. Or she's in this for something else. She's conflicted. I get that. I used to be the same way, but we've all got a part to play in this. Took another patrol to see if I could get another kill. Sure enough, got a remnant at the perimeter. Took my time. 
Did it with my hands so I could see the light in her eyes go out. Stayed with her until she went cold. Magic. Wow. Constantine tells us that with the source we'll live forever. That we'll finally look upon the face of God. <laughs> but I already have. This is where I'm supposed to be. Took me so long to find it, but this is it. I'm home. Wow, man. Heart of Darkness is right. That guy's messed up. What is this? I mean, yeah, sure. I feel like I need a drink. Oh, Molotov cocktail. Okay, I thought he was gonna run that. What are you even doing? Oh, he's burning! <laughs> Did I get him all? Okay. That was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Laura has a drinking problem. I, I panicked, guys. That was a panic throw. Flammable barrier. When I got a burning bottle in my hand, I'm gonna have to just throw it, you know? I gotta, I gotta throw it. I can't just hold it in my hand. What is this? Open. Full. Getting basically nothing here. Everything is full. Whoa! The hell? That's messed up. That right there is messed up. Don't ever riot, you'll hurt yourself. Yeah, I'm not cut out for that life, man. I'm not cut out for that life at all. There's a post here, which means... Oh, there we go. I see it. Uh... There we go. I don't think I need to go over there, but... Like, whatevs. How do I get over there now? I guess this was a extra. Oh, I see another flammable barrier over there. Well, I should go over there? Why should I go over there? Riddle me that. What's my purpose over there? I will if I need to. I thought I've been there. I got something. Soviet military dog tags. Standard issue. The name is Yuri Ravdonikas. Hmm. The word convicted is stamped on the back of the tag. Yuri was a bad guy. I can go over there, Mr. Prospero. Kane says I must go over there. Let's just go over there. Does this one have hidden puzzle? T yeah, it does. It does have hidden puzzle tombs. The thing is, I, I, I'm not a huge fan of them because they end up being more frustrating than anything else. And I'm not going to spend my time searching for the entrance to a puzzle tomb and then spend my time trying to solve the puzzle. It's like, it's a bit silly. I understand that it, it could be fun and it could be interesting and whatever, but like, oh. She should get some gloves. Yep. Heavy duty gloves. It's a process. 
Taraxa, it's a process. Okay, can I jump this? Ah, cool. Whoa! What? Climb! The hell was that? Okay, I just teleported there. We're here to help, bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do we think the challenge tomb is? Let's check it out. Oh, what is this? Hold on. Hold on. What is that? That pitiful sound? When I shoot with this gun? It's so soft. Oh, my camera angle was wrong there. Okay. What? Oh, aim right mouse and there's a rope swing. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Cool. 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 What, what am I doing here again? Oh, another one. She's really talented with this bow. She knows what she's doing. This Lara Croft girl. Where are we going? Oh! No! Hoop! Okay. Okay. AK okay, sounds like a spud gun, dude. I feel like even a spud gun would sound better than that. You're talking about like a, a potato shooter, right? Does fire hurt me? Yeah, I think fire hurts me. I, I, I just took the shot that I had there. I don't even know if I was meant to shoot that guy yet. I feel like I'm always meant to shoot everyone, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna overthink that. Spud guns have a satisfying thwomp. Uh you know, the bow actually kinda sounds like it makes more noise, but I know it doesn't actually make more noise. Gimme that loot. Hold the E to lockpick. I'm just excited about the damn mine that we're gonna enter. I, you know, when I hear mine in a game or, or like abandoned mine or, or something or other mine, then I, I just go straight back to thinking about Thief. I don't know if you guys played Thief, where there was that entire level with the zombies and stuff in the mine. Oh, it was awesome. I was so terrified to play that back in the day. And it was, it was just legit one of the best things ever. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that was my jam. Thief was my jam. There's a, there's a thing to explode over there. Let's do it. Dude, any thief. I think that Thief 2... Uh, thief 2 had the, had the mine I was talking about, but... I'm not talking about the new Thief. I'm, I'm definitely... That's the one I'm not talking about. I'm thinking Thief 2. Oh, there's a guy there. Hey, buddy. What it is? Is Thief 4 the new one? Yeah, that wasn't... I, I played through it, by the way. I got a Let's Play of that on my damn channel. And I, I thought it was alright. But it's nothing compared to the old Thieves. You played it, it was amazing. But the hospital was the worst. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. But no, 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 look. Look, Thief 1 was pretty amazing too. Taraxa, Thief 1 was awesome. I really enjoyed Thief 1. That was the dark project, right? Um, but I mean, Metal Age, I think, is the one with the mine. And, uh, like, they were, all just, they were all good, man. Thief was just a good series. Until the new one came out. I'm not talking about the new one. I'll say that again.
You know, I, the, I think the only reason one would say Dark Project wasn't as good as the second or third one is because I feel like in 2 and 3 they made huge leaps and bounds on the technological front, so they could just do more with the game. That's what I'm saying. And that's, that's to me, the only reason that the other ones were even better. I, I agree with you, though. I agree with you. In that sense. But I, I just I just think that looking back the first one did so much Laura, good stuff. Are you there? I'm pinned down, Laura. You need to get out. Okay. Shit. Jacob's in trouble. Ooh. Better get a sneaky shot off on these guys. Don't get out! I wanted to shoot from here. On it. Hold on. One thing I want to do quickly is I want to boost the anti-alias in. Oh, it's already boosted. Never mind. I just feel like the anti-alias in this game is not done very well. Anyway, whatever. Who can't see anyone? Oh, they can all see each other. This is pointless. Oh, poison arrow. God, the poison arrow is stupid. Wow. Ken Prospero is absolutely correct. That arrow is imbalanced. It feels like there's a smudgy filter over my game. It's like... A smudgy... There, when I look up there, it's clear. There's something that's... It's like the... The... Bloom? Maybe the bloom is making it... Is making it smudgy? I don't know. You guys probably can't see it all that well, but it's still like... It's bothering me a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not my screen. Okay. What is this? Oh, I could have lit that up. It's like it's just not clear. Depth of field could be. No, I, th I think it looks. It looks to me like. Hold on, let me look. Sorry, I, I know this is interrupting the gameplay, but like, it's not that. I feel like it's the anti-alias in, but I'm not sure why. Nah, there's nothing I can do about it. It's just the area. It started in this area. There you go. It's fixed. It's fixed. It's fixed. I don't know for how long, but it's fixed. What the hell? Oh, fire or explosives. Oh, it's all burning. My boy, it's okay. Just give Nero a second, my dudes. Give Nero a second. I'm oh, look at this, look at this. I was gliding. What's she doing? What? How is she running? What are you doing, woman? Easy there, easy there. Lift your head up. You're going to hurt yourself. There she is. Open fire. Oh, God. You know... I think there's one more sitting back here somewhere. My boy's outside barking now, it's all good. I think I was supposed to throw more explosives at them. Grenade! <laughs> Grenade. Oh, there's more of them. What? Wait! I see you over there. This is crazy. This is crazy. Why is Laura's ass in the center of the screen when she's running? Dude, I don't know what's going on with her crouching around the whole time and 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 pulling these funny moves and like I, I I just I honestly don't know. Run like a normal person, girl. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There now the depth of field is fixed again. Oh, crap. That ain't good. Whoa. Something about suppressing fire. 
Fan service? Sure, I mean, I guess. Oh! Kill her now. Yes, sir. Fan out. We have her surrounded. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. They do have me surrounded. That's true. Oh, I have no more arrows. What? He's still alive? Okay, melee time. Okay, not melee. Okay, fine. You're gonna take my AK bullets. These guys. These guys. Uh, doubt anyone will complain when it's Alicia Vikander on the screen. She's the new one, right? I used poison arrows. I'm gonna craft more of them right now. Don't worry. They're great, man. Prospero, the poison arrows are great. I'm, I'm pretty excited for the new Tomb Raider, I won't lie. The little bit that they've shown of the new Tomb Raider makes it seem like they're going for a more Uncharted feel for it. Like, they they inspired by Uncharted and they like thinking to themselves, that game's better than Tomb Raider. Everyone likes Uncharted, everyone always craps all over Tomb Raider. Let's make Tomb Raider Uncharted. So they're like, yeah, okay, let's make Tomb Raider Uncharted. And that's the direction that they're going for the next Tomb Raider. And I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I think that's going to be great. What's going on down there? I don't know. I agree. Uncharted is amazing. Like, no jokes. I, I don't know Uncharted all that well, but I, I know it's great. Wait, is she... No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Making a habit of saving each other. One second. Thanks. Cinematic. I'm glad you're okay. Is that the way through? Yes. There'll be more of them inside. You don't have to do this. I gotta do this. Me so easily. I still need some answers. And there's no time to waste. <clears throat> he's gonna talk more now. I wanna, I wanna finish my thought, but he's gonna talk more now. Give it this a second. Will take us all the way through the mountain. See? My people used these ways until the Soviets arrived and began digging. What did they find down here? Enough to make them curious. They use machines and explosives to dig deeper. Did quite a lot of damage. Many of the old paths collapsed, but it's safe now. Or... It used to be. That doesn't sound good. Trinity must have found the old mining equipment. One second. They're trying to finish what the Soviets started. And there's no other way through. I'm afraid not. Not anymore. Okay, stop. I'm pausing. So, I was having a thought. And I want to finish the thought. Now, I, uh, I played uh, the new Tomb Raiders. And they, they're great and all. But... I feel like they they thought the same thing. They're thinking to themselves, uh, these games are fun, but Uncharted always gets way more press. Uncharted's always more popular. And uh, Huro's asking, is Uncharted more open world? What makes it better? I think that it's the, <laughs> the whole game. It's like the story is always more interesting. There's always much more going on. The main character, Nathan Drake, is actually just a great guy. He's just, he makes a good lead character. Whereas with Laura, they never know where to go. They never know if she's been... Is, is she feisty? Is she is she angry out for revenge? Is she uh, a, a wounded animal like in the new Tomb Raiders? They're confused. They don't know what identity to give Laura, And that messes the games up. It's like one second, she's, she's all shocked that she killed a person. And then the next second, she's gunning down 300 people. And it just makes no sense. It makes no sense. Uncharted, in my opinion, they... They have a more colorful cast of characters, as far as I've seen. The environments are also more colorful and more varied and stuff like that. And it all just fits together nicer. But, you're asking about... Is Alicia Vikander playing to the new Laura in a movie? She is, right? But I, I saw slash heard that they're making a new game and they're rebooting the series again. Right? Again. I don't know, I might be wrong, but I thought I read that somewhere, that they're rebooting Tomb Raider again. And that's why I thought, okay, they must be using her for it if they're rebooting it one more time. 
but I might I might be wrong. I, I know that she's playing the new character. I saw her training regiment and whatever. <clears throat> They are rebooting again. Okay, so there, I wasn't, I wasn't incorrect. Cool. Cool. How many have released? There's like four or five Uncharted games, if that's what you're asking. Complicates things. Let's go. They're gonna bring the whole place down. The Soviets destroyed much of the old paths. Those machines were not... Oh! What? 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 What the hell is that? <laughs> There's always time to snow. Oh God, snip a dude in the back. Move, move, move. Loot, loot, loot. Move, move, move. Loot, loot, loot. And I'm going. I guess I'm going right. They made that choice for me. <laughs> choice in this game is an illusion. Oh God, faster, faster, no! There's no way we're going to find Jacob again. That's a lot of rocks that just fell. Oh, finally, it's all clear. I can see again. The haze has lifted. Jacob, Jacob are you there? Can you hear me? Okay, you're against here. You don't, know if, you don't know if it's another reboot. This it would make no sense. They said it's a, a defining chapter for Lara. Okay. I don't know, man. They need to make their mind up with Tomb Raider. I just gotta make the damn mind up. That's all I'm saying. What? They just gotta make their mind up. That's all I'm saying. I love these games. They're great. They feel good to play. But I just feel like they're confused the whole way through. They don't know what they're doing. But they're still fun. That's why I chose to play this. Because I wanted to see how this measured up i like i really enjoyed tomb raider 2013 the the uh other new one the first of the rebooted ones and i i was just i was curious about this one oh shit now what god that's confusing wait teraxa says the new movie is a reboot of the movie series based on tomb raider 2013 and comes out in march okay like that's just wow what are you even saying <laughs> I mean, I know what you're saying, but like, wow, man. What? There's a white line there. Do I... Okay. That's oh, I see. I to go. Some objects can be moved. Suddenly I can move objects. Oh, here we go. Oh, so the next game isn't reboot, but the next film is. Got you. Got you. Like I said, it's all confusing. Uh, Huro, the fight engagement seemed pretty easy. I mean, maybe if I cut those ropes. Maybe if I if I leave the damn cart, can I leave this now? Laura, there we go. There we go. That's the thing. I don't know if it's if the fights are easy or. This should come in handy. Oh, a combat knife, or if I'm just going about it in a very cheesy way. Tufty fella, you're asking if I saw Attila, Alita, Battle Angel. Oh no, I didn't watch it. Oh, Alita. Yes, you you told you asked me about that last time. I I made a note of it on my desktop, and I just I completely I didn't have time. Like, or not didn't have time. I just I forgot. Got to find another way up. Cut the rope. Oh whoa oh! Oh god. The cut the cut the rope icon appeared just as I jumped down. I'm being stealthy. I'm a good shot, though. Yeah, I mean, I guess, sure. Oh, F to cut the rope. Why F? Everything else is E, but this is F. Look, I'm not a terrible shot. Uh, I'm not playing it on the highest difficulty or anything like that, but um, it's not super hard. I'll say, I'll say that again. F to cut. Effort. Nicer. What? What? Uh, 
There we go. Do people who made this game know that we have colors other than muted browns, greens, and grays? You know, so Terexa, that's exactly what I was saying about Uncharted, where I feel like the game itself is more colorful. So the cost of characters is more colorful. The scenery, the landscapes that they build from the ground up are more colorful. They have a, uh, a less limited palette. I, I know what you're saying about the game being lots of browns. It's like, it feels really brown, especially the first one, man, especially the previous one. It still looks amazing. At earliest convenience, please acknowledge these communiques. We have received no directive since the discovery of the ruins. Examination of the artifacts and scrolls recovered from the site continue. As impossible as it may seem, it appears we may have discovered the ruins mm. of the legendary city of Kitesh. Mm. There are also numerous references to some kind of messianic figure. If I'm interpreting the texts correctly, he was a prophet who fled Byzantium sometime in the 10th century. The inscriptions say he carried with him an artifact of great power. For the time being, I have suspended normal mining operations. It is my intent to discover the truth behind this mysterious prophet. Guys, you're supposed to be watching the game and listening to the guy talk, not watching my face cam, okay? <laughs> you saw nothing. You saw nothing. No, no, Teraxa, I understand what you're saying. The game, uh, the color scheme in this game does feel a little limited, but I will say there's still time for it to, to diversify a bit. There's still time for it to diversify. We'll see. Hey, hey, I, I can't pass judgment on this game. It might be amazing. It, thus far, the gameplay has felt solid. Okay, like really solid. And I gotta say, it's like... Part of the, lost city. the story doesn't feel terrible either. It, it feels like it's going in a decent direction. They just gotta... They gotta push it home. They gotta drive it home when they have the chance. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. We'll see. We'll see. Oh my god, enough with the listening and the reading. We have heavy equipment in place within the main cavern. We intend to gain access to some kind of temple, even if we have to rip down its ancient doors to do so. While hundreds of artifacts have now been recovered and catalogued, two guard crews have gone missing in the mines. I have personally questioned the native prisoners. They claim to have no knowledge of the whereabouts of the missing guards. And though we've punished them harshly, I fear they are on the verge of revolt. Yeah, so I'm gonna... I, I, I want to play the Uncharted games at some point. I saw that. I want to play the Uncharted games. I haven't yet. Um, I, I, don't, I, we don't, I own Uncharted 1 for PS3. I own that. But I'll probably wait and get the collection, like you're saying, for PS4. When I, when I actually get a PS4. And I will tell you guys one thing. Um... No, no, I can. I can stream it on the PS3. I've got the, the kit that you sent me, but I don't really want to play it on the PS3. It's like, oh, man. Oof. They're good. Yeah, I want to play them at some point. I want to play them. Uh, but when I start streaming on consoles, I, I'll i stream on consoles. The chances are I want to get a Nintendo Switch and a, uh, a PS4 at some point. But, like, that's actually on my... <laughs> I don't want to spoil it too much, but it's on my sub-goal list. On the higher tiers, there's console streaming that we're going to unlock, and it's going to be great. Don't worry. <clears throat> again. I just hope Jacob's still alive. I don't know exactly where I am. That's rapidly becoming the story of my life. I'm fighting to survive, yet strangely, I feel hopeful. Ruins all around me. This must be part of the prophet's lost city. But how much more is true? The divine source. Could it really be here? I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, so PS4. I want to get a PS4 at some point. It's just very expensive here. And, like, I don't want to spend money on it right now if streaming on a PS4. Uh, doesn't translate into good views slash uh, good numbers for the channel. So, like, business-wise, it might not be a good choice until, until I'm a little bit bigger. Because, firstly, I have to afford the PS4 and set up the streaming and stuff like that. And, secondly, uh, I need to be able to get uh, 
decent views on the games. And now, right now, at this point, I feel like the PS4 games might be uh, a bit of a barren wasteland when I stream them. This mural shows the prophet preaching in Constantinople. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's no way you'll be able to send a console. No, no way. Uh, that will get stolen. Stuff like that, you got to transport yourself personally. That's the only way to get it here. Wow. Incredible. Dude, this is magnificent. You see, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. What? Oh, they're breaking down the damn door. Look at these guys. These savages. Did they say something about a shortcut? Quick recap of the game so far. Oh god, that's tough. So recap. Uh, let me pause quickly and think. Uh, we we are searching for the lost city that our father, Lara Croft's father, was searching for before, and he he gave his life basically in this pursuit in searching for the city. Now we were betrayed by our stepmother, who was his girlfriend basically, or his wife, or not not wife girlfriend, uh, and she's working with an agent, uh, a group called Trinity who are also, like, they, they sort of following me, then they're ahead of me, then they're following me. They like, they're, like, neck and neck with me, also trying to find this lost city of Kitesh. And apparently inside this lost city, there is the, the source that is probably, as far as these people are, are concerned, able to give people immortality. That's the recap so far. So we're looking for, for this lost city because it apparently contains the, uh, the, the key to be, becoming immortal. Well, Teraxa, like, it's it's basically, no. <laughs> you can't ship a PS4. You can't do that. They'll catch it in customs when they send it through the scanner, and then they'll charge me uh, double the cost of an actual PS4 <laughs> to, to actually receive it. I'd have to buy a PS4 locally. One day I'll buy one. One day. Like I said, it's actually one of my sub-goals is to, is to start streaming on uh, on consoles, and I will do it. I will do it. One day. What? Uh, Molda, I'll, I'll tell you in a moment. Give me a sec. So, uh, there's nothing super interesting going on here. I can talk about it for a minute. Uh, console games, or at least let's just say single player games that aren't brand new, uh, they're a bit, like, they're a bit weird, okay? So it's a bit unpredictable. Uh, you could get lucky and get a few viewers, um, but... Let me see. One sec. Okay, there we go. Uh, so... Yeah, for the most part, playing games, uh, single-player games, older single-player games, it's a it's a risk. Like you can't you can't really commit to something like that because it's basically it's very long, and then you'll get a lot of viewers, or you'll get a wow that guy, you'll get a decent amount of viewers uh, for your first couple of streams, and then you might not retain those numbers. And then because you've committed to a single-player title that has a long story and and you actually want to see it through, uh, you got to play that. So even if the views aren't great, you got to play that. And uh, it, it takes a long time, and it sort of locks you into that. It's tough. It's tough. No, no, I know. You guys who are here right now, you're like the core group of people. And, like, I, I gotta say I know uh, that you guys will probably watch most of what I do. But uh, I also need to, at some point, try and break into into uh, a, a new market. Get some new viewers. And, and unfortunately, the way to do that is, is sometimes not playing games like that. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, he Helene, Helene was telling me I shouldn't spend too much more time on The Witcher 3. I mean, I'm, I'm getting close to the end of it at least, so... I don't know. Core group of dweebs. Yeah, you guys are amazing. You're a great core group. Comrades, it is imperative that you respond to my communiques. We are now in dire need of supplies and reinforcements. A full revolt is in progress, and the prisoners now control the excavation site and surrounding facilities. In the retribution... I have ordered mass executions of prisoners from the native population. With any luck, these rebels will lay down their arms and surrender to save their own countrymen. Why does it feel like this banana is stuck to my lips? Get off my lips, banana! 
That's not where you live. No, so... It's a tough one, okay? One of the things that makes a streamer good and successful is ch picking games. And, um... I, I do think that there are there are good choices and bad choices, but a lot of <laughs> stop that <laughs> uh, a lot of it you know it fluctuates so greatly and I understand why you guys are saying you you watched you watched PUBG earlier you know you'll you'll gladly watch some console games <laughs> I uh, I understand that completely do I have to climb up here and I I don't doubt that I absolutely don't doubt that. I, I want to play console games, I'm just basically uh, easing my, my way into it, because right now, I'm streaming, you know, I'm here every day, I'm able to stream, it's going well. I want to just make sure this, uh, this keeps going well, before I start committing to an entirely new set of games, or an entirely new uh, <laughs> way of streaming, and just, I have to basically take my time with it, and, and be ready. This is crazy. The cables to rip open the door. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Do I have to go over there to do this? Uh. So, yeah, I mean, so, who was it who said? Someone said I'm being cautiously... Uh, where is it? Hold on. Yeah, talking about a cult of people watching me. I don't know what you're saying, but I, I, I want to be cautious with it. I want to take my time with it, and I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing on the channel uh, and for the channel. And console streaming is new, and it's it's like it's cool, man. It's exciting, but and it's something I've never done. So I'm I'm really keen for doing it one day. But I know nothing about it. I know nothing about the games and the community surrounding the games. And oh my god, <sighs> we're gonna die. We're gonna die. I see it over there now. I thought I missed something up in the game. Bo? Bo? Bo to you too, man. <laughs> Bo to you too. Thanks for recommitting to the Illuminati. That's two months, man. Good deal. Good deal. Dude, I would 100% play Zelda if I had a Switch. I want to get it. I just need to be in a, a stable enough financial situation where I can afford uh, getting a console and not feeling super bad about it because right now if I got a console I'd feel super bad about it because I, I don't know if it would be a good choice I, I don't have a lot of money to throw around so oh god this is not the way I wanted to do this just saying just saying it's not the way I wanted to do this there we go there we go so I will ease my way into it I will ease my way into it and uh I feel like eventually I'll be able to do everything. Eventually I'll be able to play console games, we'll play uh, new releases, old stuff that's really good. Uh, we're gonna do everything. This channel will have everything you'd ever need. I promise you that. How do we do this now? Cut, cut the rope? I just put the rope here, why would I cut the rope? Huh? Oh, I gotta turn it up and then drop it. I got it, I got it. Eventually, t episode 200 of Skyrim. Yeah, man. Hold on. You bought a Switch last month, bundled with Mario, and bought Zelda and Xenoblade. Okay. That didn't work. Get me out of here. Truck's anchored to that door. It might be heavy enough to rip it open. So, um... <clears throat> the flexibility to take it anyway is great on the Switch. Yeah, well, for me, that's not, that's not a selling point, but... Guys, I've never played a Zelda game in my life. Oh my god, what's going on? I've never played a Zelda game in my life. And I'm excited. Cut the rope. Woo That's it. Whoa, cool. Cool. Easy there. <laughs> Unsubscribed. <laughs> How would I have played a Zelda game? You know, Game Boys and, and stuff like that have never been a thing here. Nintendo, DS, Game Boys, any of that stuff, it's not something that happens in South Africa. People don't play that here, people don't do that here. Uh, unfortunately, it's never been a thing. Switches have come to South Africa. It's actually, it's available here now, but before that, uh, it was never a thing. 
Breath of the Wild is your favorite Zelda game you've played most of them. Dude, I can't wait to play Breath of the Wild. It looks like a better version of uh, Skyrim and Witcher and all that stuff. And I and I, I hate saying better than Witcher or better than Skyrim, but it's got the open world. It's got the fun and colorful characters. It's got the cool story. It's got the, uh, the let's just say, established world. And all that, like, it, it just, it's just, it's the, it's the full package. Wow, he dodged. It's the full package. Okay, okay, really? Okay, you know what? Screw you guys. It's rifle time. Okay. That did it. What? There's more of them? Oh, hey guys. I got laser sights? Wow, that's cool. We got her you, got, you got me flanked. You got me flanked, so you go and say that you got me flanked and give away your position. Okay. <clears throat> They're trying to resell Skyrim again on the Switch and it's $50. Dude, I am so impressed by Bethesda and how much they have milked Skyrim. I am legit impressed by that. This makes sense. If I follow these directions... Kill for fun, I have a GTX 1080. What's up, man? GTX 1080, that's what I've got. My CPU is old. Uh, the rest of my PC is not very new, but the GTX 1080 is carrying everything that I'm doing right now. I'm impressed! I'm impressed that they're milking Skyrim for so much. How how could you not be impressed? Oh my god, guys. Like, no jokes. It's impressive that they've made the game last for so long. Dude, uh, Taraxa, I saw some Monster Hunter World gameplay and I'm so down to play that. But, I mean, isn't that coming to PC one day? gold sword hilt inlaid with jewels this belonged to a byzantine noble examine for hidden information hmm. the blade itself was snapped off at the base this happened <clears throat> in battle it comes to pc at a later date okay now um, what's impressive about it is that they've made this game lost and i mean sure skyrim's a great game it, it makes sense that they made skyrim lost but come on has any other company done that and, and been successful? I feel like they have been successful with it. I'm not sure uh, what I'll do with Monster Hunter World. Like, look, I, I don't want to spoil too much about the sub goals and stuff, but I have for a sub goal that's a little bit higher up. <laughs> Which we are, unfortunately, we're not anywhere near right now. But a little bit high up, I have console streaming. And I want to do console streaming. But, you know, like I said, I'm not in a position right now where I can make that work. I'd love to be in a position where I can make it work, but I'm not in one right now. Soon. Hopefully soon. So how does Monster Hunter World work with um, with friends or, or, or whatever? Oh crap. Like, how, how does the multiplayer element of that work? I just saw four people co-op in and I'm, I'm not sure what else there is in the game. <laughs> Did you guys see that guy? She's reloading. Come close. There's a grenade here. This guy! This this guy and his damn shield. There you go. Nice shield, buddy. Nice armor, buddy. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Also, I need to mention that I'm terrible at console. Like, you guys will pull your damn hair out if you see me play console games. Man, I was trying to be cool like in the movies, but I wasn't. I'm not. 
Does the gameplay flow a bit better than the previous game? I, I feel like it does. I feel like on the gameplay front, they've done everything right. This game feels good. We're at 89 subs now, and a couple of weeks ago when we hit the second month, you were worried about maintaining 70. You'll get there. Traxa, thanks, man. Thanks. New bow unlocked? I uh, I hope I do, and I hope that we can we can keep the flow rolling, and I've got plans. I've got so many plans. Okay, hold up. You've got progressively more powerful monsters, ore to mine, herbs, and other plants to collect, and you go into missions where you have the goal of taking down a certain enemy or certain enemies or doing other tasks. Each monster you kill has parts. You can take extra drops off to use to craft better armor and different weapons and fight stronger monsters. That sounds great. If everyone sends the stream to one friend and they watch, we can double the viewers. Yeah, I mean, it's always simple saying stuff like that, but um, I, I, I'm not the kind of person that that likes saying every five minutes hey remember to remember to follow the stream uh, remember to, remember to give it a like remember to hit that sub button uh, remember this remember that i hate that man oh my god uh, selling out every two minutes is one of the worst things you can do as a streamer and i feel like it man you should just play and do things for fun you treat some of it as a business you do that of course but that should always be secondary interaction and enjoyment should always top that. It should always trump that, in my honest opinion. Oh my god, I nearly fell. And it does for me, it does. And I, I mean, I just feel like, I always feel like... I always just feel like it, it'll happen, you know? It'll happen. People will watch, people will stay, they'll hang around. Uh, because they see it's a, it's a fun place to be, and it's cool, and it's... Uh, it's the right way to do things. Okay, stop. Stop pushing. What the hell are we doing here? Ah, I see. Okay. Wrong <laughs> wrong weapon. Ha. Huh. So how the hell are we going to do this now? Oh, I see. What is this? I can just... I can winch it up? Crank that baby. Crank it. How many subs do I need for the partnership achievements? Alex, I wish it was sub-based. I honestly wish it was sub-based. Uh, unfortunately, it's a much more difficult goal that you need to attain. Okay, that door's coming open. Oh, God. I see where we're going. Hup! I need to get 75 viewers average for a full month before I can apply for partnership. Hup! No! I didn't think I was gonna make that. E, E, E. I'm good. I'm good. It's viewership. No followers, no subs, no nothing. Just viewership. Because if it was subs, then you could pay to win, you know. Oh man, is this, is this it? Are we finding something this big, finally? The immortal prophet. And this, it shows the exodus of his people from the deserts of Syria. They settled in a hidden valley and built a great city. Yadash. Grab those little golden tiles, girl. To protect the city and its people, the prophet raised an <laughs> army of warriors. <laughs> but what is this showing? It's not the divine source they're holding. That's Trinity. Something else, something else, but what? And his warriors forged for him an atlas. That the prophet might always know it's not his Trinity. city what? and its secrets. A map, a map of the city. It could show the way to the divine source. It's an apple of Eden. Please, God, not another apple of Eden. Oh, that's it up there. That's it up there or what? What? No, it's not. Into the valley? Oh, I thought... I was getting excited. I thought we found something. 
I thought like the, the, the sun is going to shine through there now and make like a, a marker on something on the wall and tell me where to go. Isn't he the guy who built the giant boat? You see, I, I feel like this character that they've made uh, for the Divine Prophet, he has similarities between every single biblical character that exists. You know? It's crazy. But I mean, it's cool. It's cool. They're doing their own thing with the story and I'm interested so far. It's getting more interesting, that's for sure. So the Atlas. We're off to the Atlas now. Let's go. Wait, so it's through here. Okay. It's a wonder this place is still standing. <laughs> uh, I see that there. I see that there. Underwater content. God, please, no. This looks beautiful, though. Look, I, I will admit. I'll say I hate underwater content with a passion, but this is really nice looking. I nearly died. That was close. Water level clap. <laughs> oh, no. Please, no. No. Oh, God, we're not healed. We're not healed yet. This explains your earlier issue. The entire budget went into making that artwork on the floor around the statue. It looks great. It does look great. Nice butt view. Eh, I mean, it's okay. I'd give it a 7 out of 10 on the butt view scale. 7 out of 10. Ooh, I'm sensing some color. Yeah, sorry, I'm not going to get any Zelda. Look at this, look at this, look at this. This is going to look nice. I'm, I'm putting this out there before we even go outside. I see a green tree. I see green. 